podcast. Oh my gosh. I mean, honestly, let's spice things up. One of my exes. Oh? <laughs> what? Number one, they're the reason that it charted before it even came out. Uh What the hell is this? And that's what this song is. You need to stop everything. This needs to stop now. What an idiot. Finally, Jojo Siwa has had a complete breakdown and is completely delusional at this point. Folks, JoJo has completely lost it. What the hell is going on? This is insanity. She is saying and doing some of the craziest stuff. Her music video is complete trash. I mean, it sucks from top to bottom. What the hell is that video? These interviews she's doing is just insane delusional bull crap. Completely. Jojo Siwa is honestly at this point has has skyrocketed to the top of dislikable celebrities. And this was somebody that had a um, had a reasonably safe path up until now. You know, up until well, up until recently. I'll say up until recently. She's ran her mouth. I mean, up until I don't know, like a year or two ago or somewhere around that range when she started running her mouth and, and you know, getting her opinions and, oh, it's time to be an adult and let everybody know I'm an adult. Yeah, I feel like they would have known if you didn't dress like Kiss, fucking Kiss, and tell everybody that you're a bad girl and all this stuff and F around and, okay, like, what is this bullshit that you're trying to push right now? I feel like you're trying to convince people that you are an adult now by acting like a child, a spoiled child. And she's always been a spoiled child. Let's face it. Let's face it, folks. Jojo Siwa just kind of sucks. Am I wrong? I mean, she just, she just, I don't know. There's just something about this kid that is completely unlikable. I mean, she's lucky, <laughs> pretty lucky, that we have uh, you know the Amber Heards of the world out there and the Rachel Ziegler's and people like that, um, because you know if she's she's smart, she'll keep her head down. Maybe you know like chill out with this whole rebranding thing. Maybe it's making her money, and this seems to be the whole thing, just a bunch of bullcrap to make her some money. You know, I know she had that, you know, reality show recently where, you know, like some people are speaking out like on their all girls dance group thing or whatever. And they're talking about how, how awful it was. But yeah, she's just completely cookie cutter bull crap from top to bottom, honestly, completely. And she's acting like she's so original, all this crap, man. So many people have done it before you. People are doing it now, right before you, they'll do it after. And, oh, and your next step is to say that, uh, you know, blame your mom. You know, blame your parents next. That's gonna be her next step. Mark my words, bookmark this video, come back to it. 10 years max. She'll be like talking about, oh my mom, da -da 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 -da. Oh my God, quit trying to stay relevant. Jesus Lord. You've got people like James Charles around you. I, I feel like if anybody needs to be, like if you're gonna blame anybody in 10 years, I mean, your mom is not like the top of your list. I don't know your mom, but I know you're surrounded by way worse people, um, for sure. <laughs> yeah, has have done some uh, some super weird things, you know. Yeah, yeah, Colleen. Yeah, well, yeah. There's a uh, yeah, there's a few people around you that um, you know, that I feel like maybe you should blame before your mom, or maybe just blame yourself. That'd be better. This guy is anti charisma. He is the exact opposite of Riz. Like is exactly what we see in Matt Gates, like an articulate snake charmer, capitalizing on 
the fears that drive his ultra-conservative extremist base, who wish to overthrow things that look different than them. Than them. He stokes the fears of what life would look like if we gave more to the poor and oppressed, if we transferred power from the systems of uh, white capitalist America uh, to those who have never experienced the opportunity that white America has. I knew this was gonna happen. That could be scary for some people. And so what's the, the natural response for the uneducated? To take up arms and kill those that look nothing like them. But why? Why would you do that? The teachings of demons. That's what we see in Matt Gates. And while one rose up out of that class to call people to bear arms against those that are different and to worship Trump, there's another that refuses to stand by and let the politicalization of faith take root and pervert uh, a base that is 83% uh, Christian. You don't know what you're talking about, Dave. Brother, uh, what's that? What's that, brother? Uh, brother, uh, what's that? What's that, brother? Go fuck yourself. Oh, this sucks. Alan Richardson, I love Reacher. I really like Alan Richardson, honestly. So this really does suck a lot. I feel like he really should have kept his mouth shut with politics because literally that is his fan base. That is completely his fan base. The show is very like, you know, non-woke, non-political, none of that bull crap. And hey, you know what? Um, it was really working great for him. You know, he had, a, he had probably the largest fan support that I've seen come up in a very long time. Like, honestly, like kind of just an organic fan support. I mean, he's been there, he's been around, but let's not, saw, let's not also, we, 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 we can't forget, we can't forget that this man is a Hollywood actor. His friends are in Hollywood. You can't do that in Hollywood. You can't be a Christian and fully like believe the things, you know, that most Christians and most people like most of his supporters believe, you know, like support Trump and things like that and be okay in Hollywood. Cause yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's just some kind of like Hollywood initiation crap or what the, what's going on. I don't know why he would just tank his whole career. I mean, just all the stuff he's doing. I mean, this is just insanity. You know, he would have been, if, if things don't work out for him, this will be like the blueprint of just keep your mouth shut if you're in Hollywood. Um, they need to just do a uh, yeah, don't ask and don't tell sort of situation in Hollywood. And you know, nobody will ask you if you what your beliefs are. And you don't tell anybody. Semi autobiographical. No, it's your story, but younger. <laughs> but she still got her beauty, her booty, and her bank account. So bye, boy, to him. Bobby, this isn't about me and you. But we take that out. No, this is real. That is not part of the script. Like this. I truly have loved this woman alone for years. I have just been annoyed in silence since high school. And guess what? I'm a Puerto Rican woman from the Bronx who went to the same high school as you, and you're lying. I saw your high school photo. You did not have hair like that. And we also both attended an all-girls Catholic high school in an Irish and Italian neighborhood. So you weren't running up and down the block. You know damn well you were sitting next to Megan Farley and Christine Marchetti in class. Why are you lying? Please stop using us to look human. We are sick of you. You don't, you don't do, do shit, shit for us. us. Keep, Keep our, our names, names out, out of your, your mouth. mouth. We're, We're not, not running, running up and down, down the block. block. Not, not all of us, us do that, that for kicks. kicks. You're, You're stupid. stupid. Stop, Stop using us to look human. human. Stop, Stop using us to look relatable. relatable. We, we don't, don't like you. Oh, wow. <laughs> Remember whenever J-Lo was like, was kind of like a big deal? Yeah, that was a long time ago. Not in her mind, though. Not in her mind. She's still Jenny on the block. Or Jenny from the block or whatever. She's still the Jenny that uh that South Park was, you know, making fun of. 
just so relevant, so fresh. Oh my God, I hope South Park brings brings back the uh, the, the J J Lo stuff. That would be amazing, actually. That'd be great. Um, yeah, very fun, uh, very fun person to make fun of. She is completely out of touch. Just a complete shit show at this point. Let's face it, she is something else. She is on a whole other level of delusion like a lot of people are in Hollywood right now. And yeah, it's good to see that <laughs> that other people are seeing it and she's failing in public. She can't sell tickets to her shows. That She spent $20 million on a documentary that was just a big cringe fest. That was just a big joke that made everything way worse. She charted for one week on the top 200, the Billboard top 200. Yeah, complete flop, complete failure. She's going out with a whimper, folks, like most of these Hollywood celebrities normally do in the end. No one has made this dramatic of a change yet. No one has made, in my generation, this extreme of a switch. And I am the first in the generation. It is very scary, but someone's got to do it. Hey, and we can. And there, there are people. Oh, that's nasty. Look at you now, boy. Look at you now! Look at you now! Look at you now! Oh. 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 Look at you now! You think the rock was just gonna let you talk to us? Hollywood baby. It's Hollywood baby. It's Hollywood baby. It's Hollywood baby.